Like a tour guide, the outgoing president here takes General Muhammad Dubuari around some of the strategic areas in the presidential villa so as to get him acclimatized before taking over. From the new banquet hall, one of the structures the Jonathan administration has bequeathed to future generation. It didn't take time and they were done with going round their adjoining offices. The two walked the long stretch from the banquet hall to retire upstairs for also a trip of the offices there, but our camera was not allowed to go that far. In the same vein, Vice President Nama Sambo took the incoming Vice President, Professor Yemio Shibajo, round the Vice Presidential Wing also to show him what is where. After the tour, everyone converged on the council chambers where journalists and a battery of cameramen had lined up for the briefing. Also present were the outgoing ministers in the Jonathan administration and some other APC chieftains and officials that came with the president and vice president-elect. Secretary to the so government, definitely. the chairman of the APC Transition Committee mm -hmm. and Vice President Nama Sambo, midwife the transition the notes, they said they have been on the same page. And opportunities for all citizens must remain the primary objectives of government. As if to summarize the notes, President Gulag Jonathan, from a 15-page speech, reeled out what his administration has done, what they were to do, and the ones he would even want the Buhari's administration to implement. Congratulations. This is a document that was compiled by Nigerians, the main report of the National Conference 2014. We gathered almost 500 Nigerians from all aspects of life. They were not influenced by government in any way. And most of the recommendations here, if it is followed, most of our gray areas, even in our politics, will be smoothed out. Most of the areas where people complain so bitterly, corruption, everything, these documents deal to them. Some people here were members of that great body of about 500 eggheads. We were unable to, because of the shortness of time to implement, we have sent a copy to the National Assembly. But it's a document that we are very hopeful that your government will look into it and give it uh, the attention it requires. So also, it's my pleasure to, on behalf of the Vice President and members of the Federal Executive Council and other senior government functionaries, and especially the committee, the conference members that developed this report is the baby of the nation. It's my pleasure to hand over this also to you. The president-elect Muhammadu Buhari said his response will be until he studies the notes. For him, one thing stands out about Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. He told the path of honor to save the country, Nigeria. <laughs> Until I read and digest the voluminous submissions from His Excellency the President, I don't think uh, I'll be in a position uh, to make any strong contribution. But what uh, I have been saying since that famous telephone call you made, you have changed the course of Nigerian political history. <laughs> and for that, you have earned yourself a place in our history for stabilizing this system, a multi-party democratic system. And you have earned the respect of not only Nigerians, but the world leaders. All the leaders that spoke to me and congratulated us for arriving at the point we arrived. 
mention this. And I could understand a lot of relief in their voices that Nigeria has made it after all. <coughs> and this is largely owing to our statesmanship. If you, <laughs> if you attempted to make things difficult, you could. You could have made things difficult. And that would have been at the expense of lives of poor Nigerians. You choose the path of honor. And may God help all of us. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. The two leaders got a standing ovation for what so far has been a smooth transition. Nigerians will be watching to see how Buhari will handle everything that has been handed over to him. But no doubt political watchers will be saying that these two leaders have set a precedence that the future generations will live to remember. Chukuma Onwekuse, Channels Television News.